What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W, and today we're going to tackle question six and the eighth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We see that Mr. Jones determined that the equation y equals 98 minus 16 fifths x could be used to predict a student's unit test scores based on the number of days x a student was absent during the unit. And we're trying to figure out what the meaning of the y-intercept of this function is. Now this question deals with a big idea in eighth grade, and that's looking at word problems and actually translating that into function language. And specifically, for this question, we need to find the meaning of the y-intercept. Now there was another question earlier in the eighth grade math section where I went over y-intercept in terms of a graph. In terms of a word problem, the, the key to our y-intercept is the y-intercept is whatever happens when x equals 0. So x, our independent variable, what we're in control of, so a student for the most part is in control of um, how often they're absent, and it's the number of days they're absent is going to predict their test score according to Mr. Jones' equation. We're looking for when x, our independent variable, the variable we plug in, equals 0. So if I look back at the problem, x is the number of days that a student was absent during the unit. Now if x is 0, then what that tells me is that according to the problem, the y-intercept means that a student was gone zero days. That's what the y-intercept means. So with that information, let's go ahead and look at our answer choices and see which one um, best matches this idea that the y-intercept is what happens when a student is gone zero days. So for choice A, a student who is not absent during the unit should score about 98. Okay, not absent is a good sign. Gone zero days, not absent. That's pretty close phrasing. Choice B, a student who is not absent, there's that again, during the unit should score about 94.5. C, a student's test score should increase by about 3.2 points for each day the student is absent. D, a student's test score should decrease by about 3.2 points for each day the student is absent. Now, C and D, neither of them say anything about being gone zero days. They do say something about every day that they are gone, but they don't specifically mention what happens when the student's gone zero days. Now, I tend to overthink questions like this, and if I saw some of these answer choices, I might start to overthink this and go, well, that kind of talks about gone zero days, because what if they were gone zero days, or one day, or blah, blah, blah. But um, thankfully, we don't have to do that. We just have to look at choice A and choice B. They have the same wording, the only difference is this number at the end. So our question is, which of these two numbers is the y-intercept, 98 or 94.5? Now if I come back to this formula, 98 minus 16 fifths x, and I know that my y-intercept is what happens when x equals 0, if I plug 0 in for x here, any number times 0 is just going to give me 0, and 98 minus 0 is still 98. So the idea of the y-intercept is that it's what happens when x equals 0, and in the context of the function notation, it's just this number here that hangs out by itself and doesn't have a variable with it. So our answer is going to be choice A. A student who is not absent during the unit should score about 98.